welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in to episode three of my quarantine watch day series i really appreciate all the love and support i've been showing on this series so far and i'm ready to just keep it up so in episode one the episode that kick started my series i said that i would only be doing wash and goes twist outs and braid outs and i'm trying my best to stick to it I might sneak in a perm rod set or something. I don't know, but I'm trying to stick to it because that's what I said I was gonna do. And this is for growth purposes. So in the last video, I did my three strand twist out and you guys can see my hair is still super defined all the way until the next wash day. I still have perfect coils. Um, in episode one, I did my infamous braid out. So this being the third video, I am going to do a wash and go and um i am in the beginning of my natural hair journey i was a wash and go fiend but now not so much i'm definitely on the braid out team and wanting that length and that you know less shrinkage i'm just like come on i need some length which is why i love my braid outs because they really like give me a good shape and a nice full look whereas a wash and go really does shrink up and stick to my head so um what i'm trying to do is embrace shrinkage shrinkage is going to come either way so i might as well just make sure my hair looks healthy and looks good that's what's important the shrinkage isn't important having length isn't important especially in quarantine what do i need length for in quarantine when nobody's going to see me i'm not going to see anybody yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do a wash and go i'm actually pretty excited to, to do this wash and go um because of the products that i'll be using so let's get into the products so in the last video i did not use shampoo or conditioner i just used a clay mask so this video i will definitely be shampooing and conditioning and i'll be using a new brand called girl and hair so girl and hair sent me some products to try so let's talk about the shampoo that they sent it came in this cute little bottle that has like a little pointer tip and it's called girl and hair cleanse under hair care so it says it's the first line of hair care products formulated for natural and relaxed hair under protective styles moisturizing sulfate sulfate free cleanser with shea butter and tea tree oil so this is their new product that they released and this is actually a hair mask so this is the girl and hair curl cloud ultimate hydrating hair mask for curly and kinky hair and it has pimento oil castor oil and tea tree oil so when it comes time to style my hair i'm actually going to be using two different products to style my hair so i'm going to be using two very common products in the natural hair community i'm pretty sure just about almost every curly girl out there has tried these two products and today i will be pitting them against each other so I will be doing half of my head in Wetline Extreme and I'll put, be doing the other half of my hair in Eco Styler Gel. We're going to compare these gel results um, from my wash and go. So we'll see, we'll, we'll look at crunchiness, softness, um, definition, um, texture. We are going to get into it and see which one of my hair likes the best. Now I haven't applied these products into my hair for a while. So, um, I kind of, I know that this one can be a little crunchy, but I've honestly, for, I haven't used Eco Styler, like, if it, if it hasn't gone on my edges, I have not used Eco Styler in so, so long. And I'm kind of excited just to see which one works better, like, I don't know, I'm curious too. So, yeah, that's gonna be my wash and go for this week. Um, I do want to use a leave-in conditioner when I use gels. So I'm going to be pairing Design Essentials Leave-In Conditioner. This is the Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner in Coconut Oil. And I'm going to use this with both of my gels. So this is going on my whole head. And these are just going on either side. And we will compare results in this episode. So let's get into this wash day. So 
this definitely does have tea tree oil in it. My scalp is tingling and it feels really fresh and I really like this shampoo. I don't know how this shampoo feels like there's a curl cream on my curls, but it feels really thick and smooth like a nice creamy butter. And that's different in a shampoo. I ain't never felt nothing like that in a shampoo. So, girl in hair, this shampoo got a thumbs up from me because I don't know what y'all put in this, but it's amazing. It's, it's truly amazing. All right, so do y'all see this clump? Like the way it's clumped together, y'all can't tell me no regular shampoo do this because cause I ain't seen it. All right, so now that I've shampooed, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and start with my Curl Cloud hair mask. it has such a refreshing smell it's a really light scent this product has a really good slit my hair feels like extremely hydrated you guys like it just replenished the moisture after using a shampoo so my curls are really bouncy as you can see and they genuinely feel like it's like buttery like it has a buttery consistency and oh I'm just loving this so when you deep condition with this mask, you can use heat or just let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to let it sit for 30 minutes and then I'll be back to show you guys what it's looking like. All right, so I have rinsed out that mask and now I'm going to get started with styling. So my hair is so hydrated from this shampoo and hair mask like both of these products were so moisturizing for my hair that my hair still feels so like smooth and moisturized. Now it's time to get into the styling and start applying my products for this wash day. Alright, so I have two gels to apply and all I did was split my hair down the middle so that I could just focus on one at a time. You know, it just makes the process easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my wet line extreme side and I'll be applying my leave-in first, then my wet line. Even if anyone uses Design Essentials um, and you really like Design Essentials products, this leave-in conditioner is very moisturizing. It literally feels like I'm putting water on my hair. It doesn't even feel like a leave-in. It feels like I'm adding water into my hair before I apply my gel. So just wanted to touch on this leave-in for a second because I know it's not the uh, main focus of the video, but I did want to mention it. So I applied my wet line extreme and as you can see right now my hair does have a good amount of length. Um, I do have really good definition so of course I will be air drying. 
Um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the Eco Styler side. apply my eco styler over here and my wet line over here now it's time to air dry so once I am finished air drying I'll be back to show you guys my final wash day look completely dry um, I will say that I do love this wash and go it looks so good you guys so so good I think um, I'm gonna be sticking to gel wash and goes rather than cream and custard wash and goes um, I think I just like the elongation that the gel gives me um, but let's get into both sides so this is the wet line extreme side and you guys can see my hair has movement um, it does have that gel cast on it still, but it's not ridiculously crunchy. Like you guys can see, my hair has a lot of movement. It's not so like hardened that my hair is like stiff. You know what I'm saying? So it is day one hair. A cast is to be expected, and I know that over the course of the week, the cast will come right off, just with the amount of movement that I have right now. Um, my hair, I did use leave-in with it, so my hair does have some hydration to it, and the gel is just going to keep it in place. So, I'm so pleased with this Wetline Extreme side, like, this looks so good, like, wow, hey. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, let's get into the Eco Styler side. So, the Eco Styler side does have a cast on it, but my hair is a little bit softer than the wet line side so this is more of a softer gel um wet line is more like you know wet line is more heavy duty in my opinion whereas eco styler um i still eco styler i still have a good amount of fluff and bounce on um, my hair is not stiff just like the other side it's not stiff um yeah i i love the results of both sides it doesn't even look like i used two different gels, it looks like I used the same gel. So if you are going for a softer gel and you don't know which to pick between these two products, I would definitely say Wet Line, I mean, sorry, Eco Styler Gel, but um, I don't know what it is, but I, for some reason, I like the Wet Line side better. I just like the way my curls look. Some people say that they get flakes with Eco Styler, but I've never been the person who's gotten flakes. I, I don't know if it's my just my hair. I don't know if it's the product that I mixed it with. I've never, all the Eco Stylers I've tried, I've never had one flake on me. This wash and go turned out so good. So I'm pleased. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this quarantine wash day episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for my day seven hair results in episode four of my quarantine wash day. Bye guys.